Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you a very simple, easy, yet effective way to display some of your graphics. Recently I was working on this project and uh, my client wanted to show off 50% uh, off for their veterans, for Veterans Day. And so I created this simple graphic. So we're gonna go ahead and make that up for you today. So let's go ahead and get started with this 50% off. So we come over to a composition. I'm working in a 1080 by 1080 one by one square for their social media. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit my text and type in 50% off. And now that text is really small. Uh, I went big on mine, so I think 120. Yep, that looks about right. 120%. I got my grids here for direct center. And we're gonna bring our 50% off into the middle. I'm gonna come up to my layer and create a new layer. Whoops. Create a new solid. And it can be any color you want. I'm gonna go with blue. I like it to be different than black and white. I don't know, I'm a little weird. And so then I'm gonna select these two and I'm gonna pre-comp, pre-compose them. Uh, and we're gonna name it to 50% top, right? Well, it'd help if I did that, right? 50% top and hit okay. And so then what we want to do is we want to take this layer and bring it down. So we see half of the 50%, the top part. So we see half of that, right? And then we're gonna come over to our mode right here and change this layer into a silhouette alpha. So essentially it's an alpha layer. So what this means is that anything underneath this layer is not gonna show. If we come over to our final composition, we can only see half of that. And we don't see the box. So now we wanna set up our animations. So I usually go about a half second for a lot of my movements. So we come down to our 12 frames and we're gonna hit, if we can actually come over to our reference, we wanted this to come out of the center, right? So this top part is gonna come up. So this is where we want it to finish. So we come over to uh, our position, so hit P, and this is where we want it to finish. So go ahead and hit your keyframe and come all the way back to the beginning and we're just gonna drag it down so we can't see it anymore. So there it is. Hit our space bar and there it is. Now we got our first animation done. And essentially, this is basically gonna be the basis for everything else, for every other layer. So let's come back over to our comp and now we need the bottom part of it. And we're just gonna duplicate this. So Control D. And then if we wanna change this, we have to come up to the top here and find our project asset. And so what we wanna do is we wanna control C and control V, essentially copy and paste, duplicate, whatever you wanna call it. And now we got a 50% off top two. And so what we wanna do is we wanna hold down Alt and drag this down and it can go to either one of them, but I'm gonna put it on the top one. And so now that creates this into a whole new pre-comp. And we're gonna go ahead and change that name. So 50% off bottom. And I'm actually gonna move this down to the bottom. Does not matter which order it's in, but that's just where I'm gonna make it. So we're gonna open this up by double clicking. And now we wanna reverse this. So we have to come into our uh, alpha layer. And we wanna bring it up. Keep going, keep going right there. So now we see the bottom part of the 50% off. And we just need to change some of the animations. So if we come over here, hit P. And let's zoom in, because we're pretty zoomed out right now. And so this is where we're still at the same spot that we want it to finish. We're just not where we want it to begin. So if we drag this back up to where we can't see it, And there we go. So now we come over to our final comp. We have both, we can see the whole 50%. And there's our first move. 
So now what do we need next? What we need next is this veterans part. And this veterans part is actually one of the easiest parts. So you see it comes down normally, uh, basically the same way as the bottom part of the 50%. So all we really need to do is we come over to our composition and we're gonna copy this bottom part. So control D for duplicate and then come back up here, control C, control V. We're gonna make a new copy of that. So we have 50% off top three. Hold down your alt button and drag it to the bottom two. And let's go ahead and change that name. And we could have, again, dragged it to either one of them, but let's change it to uh, for veterans. And I'm gonna, again, drag this to the bottom. Again, the order does not matter. So we double click the open it up. And all we need to do here is change the font to for veterans. And of course we need to size it down. Uh, I'm gonna go with something like 36. And we need to center that bad boy up. So let's change some of those. Some of those values there. Whoops. And so let's make that center just like that. For 10.6, go to the other keyframe and change that for 10.6. And there we are in the center. And that's, that's really all we need to do. So let's come back over to our final comp. And now we just need to move this here into its position. So hit P for position and drag it down. Right about there looks good. And that's what we have. That's how easy it is to make a simple yet interesting, effective graphic for your video. So hopefully you're able to take this and use it for one of your own videos. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, hit that like button. You can leave any comments down in the comment section uh, and even hit that subscribe button, which will help me build this channel and allow me to do more videos just like this and get a little bit more in depth on how to do After Effects, Premiere Pro, uh, and a lot of different production for any client you might be working for. Thanks guys.